the bandage pack and grasp the flap handle. Situate the wound beneath the bandage in between the label and the pressure applicator. Begin wrapping the leader around the arm below and above the pressure applicator to maintain the dressing pad in the position on the wound, covering it completely. When the wound is secure and protected, engage the wrapping leader in the pressure applicator by bringing it through the opening of the bar at the top. Wrap the leader back in the opposite direction over the pressure bar so the pressure bar is fixed directly on the wound site. Continue wrapping the bandage around the arm. Twist the bandage once as you wrap the second revolution so the twist is positioned directly on the pressure bar, focusing the pressure on the wound site to further control blood loss. To immobilize the arm, use the wrapping leader to bandage around the patient's torso by bringing it across the front or back of the body and underneath the opposite armpit, returning across the torso and around the wounded arm. The elastic bandage is highly flexible. When wrapping around the torso, maintain the bandage at its full width so as not to inhibit breathing. Fasten the closure bar at any suitable place on the bandage. Use the flap handle to position the pad with the pressure bar on the wound that is bleeding more heavily. Wrap the bandage around the torso and position the second pad over the second wound. Bring the wrapping leader back around to the primary wound and engage it in the pressure applicator. Wrap the leader back in the opposite direction and around the limb or body part. This forces the pressure applicator down onto the primary wound and exerts pressure directly on the wound site when covered by subsequent revolutions of the wrapping leader. Continue wrapping the bandage around the torso, always making sure to keep a minimal lead for more control. Keep the elastic bandage wide, spreading pressure evenly over the pads and wound areas. Secure the bandage with the closure bar.